In this lesson, we're going to make a ball bounce across the screen, and we're going to add some squash and stretch. So I'm going to go up to my menu and close this project, and I'm going to create a new project. And this project, I'm going to do 2,000 by 2,000 pixels. And let's call this bounce. All right, so I'm gonna to go to my background layer. I'll take my paintbrush and I'm just gonna draw in a line going across the screen. Now on the second layer, this right here, I'm gonna call this graph. And this is gonna be the path that the ball is gonna travel along. So for the graph, I'm going to draw in a curve and then I'm gonna draw in another curve. And I want you to notice how the height of the first curve is taller than the height of the second curve. Okay, so there's a difference there. So I'm going to select this graph. I'm going to move it up a little bit. Okay, so if we think about this, right, if this is the maybe the beginning of the graph and this is the end right here, we want to sort of divide our space, right? So this is similar to our other graphs that we've done that are sort of in a straight line. We divide space and then we determine, do we need slow in? Do we need a slow out? Do we need both? What do we need, right? So the only difference here is that the, the path uh, of the ball is curved, right? We can still divide space. And now we need to think about, does the ball slow in? Does it slow out of this movement? Okay, so the ball is gonna fall down and so it will start at the top we will slow into the movement it will accelerate and at the end it will not slow out so at the bottom it's going to be moving fast when the ball leaves from here to here we're going to go fast and then we'll slow out here so we have a slow in here fast fast and then slow out here all right, so I can work on these two different graphs. So what I'll do is I'll do the first graph right here. I don't want any frames here because this is the area that the ball is going to move fast. So I'm going to divide space here and I'll go from the newest line to the top, divide, divide. And then from here, this is the fast part. There's no starting from this point on the ground back up to here. This is fast, so we'll leave that alone. We'll divide, divide. Like that. So now we have just like a rough graph. We've got some spacing here. We've got our slow into the movement right here, and then we've got a slow out right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the graph layer and I'm just going to reduce the opacity. And that way I don't get confused about my lines. So I'm going to go to modify layers, add empty layer, and I'm going to call this, this is going to be the ball. Okay, so maybe I'll zoom in a little bit, draw in a circle like this, and dot in the center. I'll sort of like move this around. This should be good. I might go a little bit larger. All right, so now I'm just going to place the ball up here at the top, and it's probably I can see the ball is going off the frame here. So what I'll do is I'll just create a second frame here. So I'll go to add drawing, duplicate after. So I want to have two frames. I'll go to my graph layer and let's drag this out so we have more time on the timeline for that. And so now I've got two positions. I'll switch to the ball layer, make sure I'm on that first drawing on the ball layer. And then I'll move this to this position right here. And then I'll go to the second drawing, the second frame, and I'll move this to the next position here. I'll go to add drawing, duplicate after, move that. Add drawing, duplicate after. Add drawing, duplicate after, and right here, Here's where the ball is going to start to stretch out. So what I'll do is I'll sort of select this guy, 
move the pivot point to the middle, and I'm going to push the ball in and stretch up, and then I'm going to rotate it so that it matches up with the path. Okay, so here's what we have. At the top, the ball sort of at its round shape, and then as it goes down, it starts to accelerate. We stretch the ball to show the acceleration, and then I'll do one more with the ball contacting the ground. So I'm going to go to Add Drawing, Duplicate After. I'm going to move this guy down. And I'll move this to the center right here. I'm going to rotate. And I just want to, I want to have it, the ball being totally straight up and down vertically so that when I squash it, I can squash it a little bit more in, stretch out a little bit more. And now I can rotate it and have the ball touch the ground. So here I'm not going to actually follow my graph because it's important that when the ball comes down, we want to have a position where the ball just touches the ground. And if I were to follow the graph exactly, the ball would be going through the ground and that wouldn't feel right. So I'm just going to place the ball here where it's touching the ground. And then on the next frame, I'm going to go to add drawing or I can go right here and because I don't want to duplicate, I just want to add a new drawing, what I can do is I can use this button right here, goes to the next frame and it gives me a blank drawing. I'll turn on my onion skin and then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. Draw on the ball squashing right here. And then I'll zoom out a little bit. And I can sort of see that this is probably a little bit too big. Move the pivot point down to the bottom here, scale down a little bit, not too much. Okay. Boom. So this is the really important thing, is when the ball touches the ground and then it squashes. And uh, just so it's not distracting, I'll put in a little dot right there, just so that we don't get distracted by that. All right, so now, now I'm going to reuse, uh, I'll reuse this drawing right here. So I'm going to go to Add Drawing, Duplicate After. I'm going to move this to the very end. So this drawing is going to go all the way to the end of the timeline. Select it. I'm going to move this up. I'm going to place this over here. Now I'm not going to follow my graph exactly. I'm going to go back just a little bit. So I have a feeling that it shouldn't maybe go up that high. That's a pretty good bounce. And maybe I'm going to just rotate it a little bit like this. Cool. All right. And then what I want to do is Right here, I'll add a new drawing. So I'm going to add after. I don't want to duplicate this. So I'll hit this button to add a new blank frame right here. And then I'm going to go back to one of these drawings. I'll select, go to Tool Options, Copy, go to that last frame or the blank frame that I have and paste. And I'll move this over. All right, so then you can see what I have here. And now again, I can just duplicate this and move it along the graph. So go to Add Drawing, Duplicate After, move that over, Add Drawing, Duplicate After, move it over, Add Drawing, Duplicate After, maybe one more right here. And then this time we just want a blank drawing. So I'll just add a new blank frame here. I'm going to go back to the beginning and we could probably use a blank drawing over here as well. So I'll go to add drawing, add after. I want to move that to the beginning. So I'll use this button here to move that drawing over. So now we've got a blank drawing on the front and a blank drawing at the end there. So now we can take, we can just take our graph opacity all the way down to zero and we can test out our animation. 
Okay, looks good. It's moving pretty fast. So I might choose to, you know, take all these frames and do this on twos just to slow it down a little bit. And of course I'll have to drag this out some more. And maybe two frames for this. We will pinch this and shorten that a little bit. And we'll go out two more frames here, just extend this out. And so if we're satisfied with our animation, now what we can do is we can go in and we can erase this dot in the middle. And I can use this button here to go forward on my frames, right? So I'll erase, press that button, go forward. And I can just keep erasing. And then just keep going. And then we'll play it. And there's our bouncing ball with our squash and stretch. All right, so in our next video, we'll do something a little bit more complex with our bouncing ball. And maybe we'll add some more obstacles for the scene. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you guys in the next video.